What's up everybody? It's your boy named Jarvis. What's poppin'? Alright, let's go ahead and get into the, the strongest God of Destruction. I have to listen carefully. This has really caught my attention. And I subscribe to this person. Most definitely, the link will be in the description. Original link. Go. The manga of Dragon Ball Super has always been slightly different to what we've seen in the show. Last time, Vegeta achieved Super Saiyan God status against Zamasu, and Goku used the Hakai, which is a technique only meant for Gods of Destruction. And even though it's not 100% translated into English yet, we get a really good look at all the Gods of Destruction pre the Tournament of Power. So the Grand Priest is talking with Zeno, and then, just like the show, Goku shows up, and this is where they start talking about the Tournament of Power. Again, it's in Korean, so they could be talking about some serious, series-breaking stuff, but until then, everything that has happened so far has pretty much been the same as the show. Now, this is where it starts to differ and gets a lot more interesting. The Grand Prix sends out a message to all the angels to let their Gods of Destruction know about the tournament. I said before that we just got a really in-depth look at all the Gods of Destruction and their surroundings. Well, it starts with Universe 5. Arak is sitting there meditating, which seems to be his style. There is a statue kind of to his likeness behind him, and Arak, other than Beerus, has got to be one of my favorite gods of destruction. He is focused, and you would think that would be a similar case with all the universes that are exempt from this tournament. It then cuts to Kitara, who's playing video games, not really acting like a god. Then Hela is in front of a mirror. Then Universe 9. There seems to be a lot going on here, and it's kind of hard to guess what's going on since it's not in English, but it looks like that they're just about to destroy a planet, and since this is highlighting the main aspects from each universe and each god, I'd say this panel here is more of a commentary on how bad Universe 9 is, since they are ranked the lowest. Now, the Grand Priest just summons everyone straight to Xenos, and you get this really cool panel of every universe bowing down. I remember this from December of last year, they were teasing the start of this tournament arc, and they use these exact panels. There is a whole bunch of dialogue, and for now, I'm just going to skip over that. There is something so out of the ordinary. Every god of destruction gets put into this arena, and they all fight. Every other god is looking at Beerus. Kind of like how in the exhibition match, everyone was pissed off at Goku. Well, in the manga, Beerus is more or less in Goku's shoes. They all circle around him, slowly getting closer. Again, this is an 11v1. They all charge him, what? and Beerus fights back. Universe 12 goes in, Beerus dodges. Universe 11 goes in, Beerus dodges. He gets grabbed by Universe 3, and then counters. These are other gods of destruction, and Beerus is making them all look like Goku from Battle of Gods. Now, if you go by what we saw in the series, right before the tournament began, the Universe 1, 5, and 8 god all fought together, while the Universe 12 god just watched, and that made you kind of think that he was the strongest god, Universe 12. But according to this, it is all Beerus. He had every god of destruction rush in from the beginning and won. Again, it is the manga, not the anime, but the manga can't just go off and write things that aren't true. If Beerus isn't the strongest god of destruction, then he's up there, and definitely not the weakest like a lot of people were thinking. Anyway, let me know what you think. Should this even be taken seriously, Beerus having 11 gods targeting him at once and coming out on top? It's not something that you would ever expect to see. Maybe Bye. down the line, I was thinking that would be Goku's job. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video. Wow. Tell me what y'all think, you know what I'm saying? Seriously, because, it, man, I, I really don't know. I'm gonna leave it to y'all, man, like, real talk. Oh my God, it's just so raw, right? Like, wow. That will be one of the best reactions if all 12 gods charge their beers, bro. I mean, God damn, bro, that was strong. You know what I'm saying? At least that's being said. Thank y'all for watching this. I enjoyed and listened to the person who made this, man. I very appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? And also, also, y'all, be ready for some live stream of Star Wars, y'all. Just to let y'all know, I still watch Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super no matter what. Alright? I'm out, y'all. Peace out.